Gentlemen, 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 what is good? What is good? What is good? Of course, you know who I be. Good Doc, Dr. Mike TV, back again, once again. Get ready to lock and load for something I've been thinking about for a long time, okay? Now, just the other day, excuse me, I was thinking about the stock that we put into women and females in general with very little relevancy we put too much stock into the pure aesthetics of a female rather than what's really underneath and the reason i believe this to be true is because i did a video or a live stream a while back where i told you guys i don't mind dating a six or a seven or an eight because i believe over time depending on who you're with you can naturally make a 6 or a 7 or an 8 into a 10, right? That was my thought process, especially when it came to dealing with Filipinas. But a lot of my guys in the chat, a lot of the guys who commented on that particular video, you guys were like, shit, man, it's 9 or 10 or bust, right? I want the baddest bitch in the country. I want the baddies. I mean, why else would I care about anything less? And I respect that. I do. It's not that I don't respect it. It's just that... I wonder if there's anything else that you care about outside of the pure aesthetics, right? And a lot of y'all want the baddest girls because, you know, hopefully you'll get the best sex. But I can honestly tell you, and a lot of my guys can vouch for this, while y'all sitting there focusing on the baddies, the ones that everybody potentially wants, what you're going to understand is usually those are the ones who have the most underwhelming, lackluster performances. I believe that your overly confident, overly beautiful, pure aesthetics only type of female has probably some of the worst performances in history. Now, again, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud, though, and I want you all to follow my mindset because maybe you'll be able to pick up what I'm putting down. Now, to me, I want to ask my gentleman, what is it that makes a woman beautiful in your mind? Like, what, in your opinion, makes a woman beautiful? And you can comment that in the uh, description area below, or the, um, you know, the, the comment section below. What is it, in your opinion, that makes a woman beautiful? Is it the fact that she wears her makeup a certain way? Because, again, guys, that's just makeup, right? You take that shit off, she look like a gremlin, you're fucked. <laughs> Is it the fact that she keeps her body in shape? If that's the case, I respect that, right? You know, a woman keeps herself in shape and shit. You know, she's putting in the work. I think that it's noteworthy to say, yo, you should respect that because it's a woman that really likes to take care of herself. But if baby girl got the surgically enhanced titties and shit and the BBWs or the BBLs, whatever they call them shits, then that's just called cheating. <laughs> Plain and simple. That's just cheating, right? You just get a shot in your ass and your booty's fucking as big as Kim Kardashian and Nicki Minaj's and shit. Or Cardi B, whoever you be fucking with. Again, nice to look at. I'm not going to cap. I'm still a man. Let's not get it twisted. But in my opinion, when I ask the question, what is it that makes a woman beautiful to you? Is it purely the aesthetic portion of that female? Or what it is that you personally see with your own eyes that makes her beautiful? Or is it, you know what you come to know about her when you get to know her you start talking to her like do you realize her personality is awesome and shit or do you realize that baby girl's got a work ethic beyond belief or do you realize that this woman is really down for you in ways that she doesn't even know that you recognize that in her like to me those are the things that i look at when it comes to beauty all right and i think that us as men we just put too much stock into the pure aesthetics what it looks like on the outside of a female y'all already know man most of these women who are pretty on the outside some of them can be rotten on the inside right so for me i'm not pressed by it and a lot of people will be like doc you want me to date an ugly girl bro what the fuck is up with that it's not what i'm saying you could find you a young lady that may not be the prettiest one in the bunch, but that doesn't mean that she's not pretty. That just means that if you put her next to uh, Megan the Stallion type, and I'm, that's the first name that came to mind, so you know you don't have to necessarily use her as an example. Like Eva Longoria or a Eva Mendez or a Selma Hayek, because I'm on my Latina trip right now. Um, you know, put her next to like some of the baddest women on in the planet or on the in the country or in the world. Um, you put her next to somebody who looks like that. 
it's not that she's not beautiful. It's just that if you had to choose between option A and option B, chances are option B or option A probably looks a whole lot better than option B. It's not so much that she's not beautiful, that she's not pretty. It's just that when she's put next to somebody, she's just not as cute. That's the best way for me to put it. And I'm learning this over time and I'm trying to impart some wisdom. I mean, most of y'all don't give a fuck. I just want to talk. Just let me have my conversation. I'll keep it pushing. But a lot of us are at the stage in our life we're in, we have got to stop focusing on the pure aesthetics, right? So let me tell you how the good doc rocks and maybe you can pick it up, maybe you don't rock like I do. I don't want the girl that everybody wants, right? I don't wanna date the young lady that everybody wants. Like if I was single, I'm not gonna go for the girl that I see a bunch of dudes sliding in her DM. She got like 100,000 followers on Instagram. Granted, if I wanted to shoot my shot <laughs> and it was a Hail Mary of all sorts, if that's what I felt like doing, all right, we could rock like that. But if I'm looking for somebody that's quality, right? I'm not looking for a girl that's out there with what I like to refer to as ASD attention seeking disorder that's not the young lady that i go for right the young lady that i go for is the one in the group if they are in a group that nobody want to fuck with not because she's ugly but because she may not look as cute as the other ones right and the reason my mind is like yo doc you need to go for the one that's not the pick of the litter and the reason i go for that is because I feel like the woman who doesn't always get chosen a lot is willing to put forth nine to ten times more effort into anything because you're the guy who actually decided to give her an opportunity or to give her a chance or to say hi to her or to talk to her or take her out on a date, right? It's usually her her cute friends or the ones that are the more beautiful of the group that get all the attention from the guys and nobody really want to fuck with her. Maybe she got a little chubby, you know, a little, 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 little baby fat on her or some shit or maybe it's the fact that, you know, maybe she wear glasses, she look a little nerdy or something like that. She don't look like the other friends and shit, so everybody bypass her and go for the baddies of sorts, right? I'd rather go for the girl that nobody want to fuck with because I know for a fact chances are zero competition. And it's not that I'm scared of competition. It's just that I'm not in the market to compete with other men to get women. That's not what I'm here for. Right. I want to get what's mine and get the fuck out. OK, I'm not here to fight for any other woman's attention. I'm not here to send you money just to get your attention or to love on your comments and be in your DMs and all the time and shit just to get you to say hi to me. That's not me. I want to deal with a young lady that if I send you a fucking message, I know for a fact I'm just going to get one back and we can figure out how it works from there. It's not always how it works out, though. You feel me? A lot of us will be in the market trying to be like, yo, I want to be with this girl. She look good. She look good. Yo, man, look at that picture, man. Look at that ass. Yo, that shit fat, right? It's all good and everything. But overall, I like to think about what kind of effort can I expect from her, right? What kind of effort can I expect? Especially when it comes down to the performance. Y'all know what I mean. How that sex game hit. What kind, of, what kind of performance can you actually expect from a girl that gets attention from a lot of guys? Probably what I like to call the... Uh, <laughs> the just... I call it... I don't even call it the floppy fish. But you know how you just lay on your back and just take a type shit. It's kind of like there's no energy, right? It's just weird. And that's what I'm noticing. Like when you deal with girls who get a lot of attention. Like they kind of just lackluster in energy. So if you're not even willing to give me even a little bit of energy. Unless I do something fucking extravagant to get your attention. What can I actually expect from you outside of that what kind of performance can i expect am i wrong for that i don't give a fuck if i am or not but what i do know is back to what i said the girl that doesn't get a lot of attention my expectation and i do believe this to be true the majority of the time is that you're actually going to get a lot more effort put into everything performance and everything because she's just not used to getting the attention Right. Everybody else in the corner gets the attention. Everybody gets the the the, the DMs or all oh, the phone numbers and all, a whole bunch of guys hitting on them. Trust me, every girl wants a guy to hit on her. That's like in every girl's dream. Like, yo, how many guys can I get to talk to me today or some shit? At least if you're one of one, it's like, well, fuck it, man. Let me see what this man's about. When is when is the opportunity ever going to come for me that another guy's going to hit on me outside of my friends? That's what I think they think. Am I wrong? Yeah, who cares if I am or not? I do believe that for the majority of the time, I have to be close to accurate on that one. Gotta be. Gotta be. Gotta be. Because every time that has happened to me, I think I was, I, I think my average, my percentages were crazy when I operated with that mentality and philosophy. My percentages were crazy. 
We're talking high percentages, right? I'm not going to say I was perfect. I was a perfect twin. That's not perfect, right? But that's just the way that I think. And gentlemen, we do have to stop putting so much stock into the pure aesthetics of a female. Because I do believe that's going to lead to disappointment, right? Yeah, they look good on the outside. Or they look like this, man. But if she's getting bagged by a whole bunch of dudes, man. Who know what that Pumanani smell like, bro? <laughs> like a fucking wet fish market or some shit. Come on, man. Y'all want to go to the wet market? I don't want to go to the wet market, y'all. I truly don't. So... When I say, guys, we have to be careful who we choose to give our effort, time, and energy into, as opposed to focusing on the fact that she just looks good, pure aesthetic. I mean, based on pure aesthetics. We just have to understand that there has to be more to the game that they offer, right? We always ask this dumbass question. I don't even know why guys ask this question to females and shit. But you have the, some guys have the audacity to ask a female, what do you bring to the table? What do you bring to the table? I don't know what you bring to the table. Chances are she gonna bring she's gonna be like I bring you know my my punani to the table That's usually the answer they get or I bring me to the table, right? You get those answers often But I want you to think of it like this gentlemen, and I'm gonna leave you with this if a girl ever answers you With oh, I just bring myself or I bring the punani to the table I want you to ask her and what else do you bring right because normally you'll start to get this Something they get they get stirred up and shit, right? They get upset when you ask that question. But I want you to tell them for real. Because this is the way I think about it. If a girl ever asked me that shit. I'd be like, do you know how many girls I've dealt with that have vaginas? Right? <laughs> I know that sounds funny. But 100%, y'all. I mean, of course, if you live that alternative lifestyle, that's a different story. But anyway, like I'm saying, I would say, baby, do you know how many young ladies I've dealt with that have vaginas? 100% of them. So... What makes you different or what makes you special outside of that 100% that I've already dealt with before? And if you can't tell me nothing, I ain't got nothing for you. Shit, you might get this dick and I keep it pushing, but that's it. Don't expect too much from me. Don't expect a lot of my time, effort, and energy. Because it just ain't going to work that way. And that's just what's been on my mind, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that you pick up what I'm putting down. Even if you haven't, I still love you. I always do. Guys, comment in the section below. What is it that makes a woman beautiful to you? I'm definitely interested to hear what you guys got to say. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that has been my time, effort, and energy. This has been the Good Doc, Dr. Mike TV. If you haven't already, please feel free to share, like, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Highly appreciate that one. Drop that like. Doc is on it. Uh, if you haven't checked out the Patreon yet, we be over there getting it in on the Patreon. So don't lack on the Patreon, y'all. Um, what else we got, man? Uh, Ebooks, man. Everything. Descriptionary below, man. Y'all make sure y'all lock in. This has been a good doc having a candid conversation with my gentlemen. Hope you guys are having a blessed one. Hope you guys are on to the next one. All right. And with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, good doc is officially out. At least not go alam, which means I am going now. Uh, bye bye. As always, love you guys. Sincerely, do my kita, my Peace.